pretty strong characters and they do a lot of hardship throughout their career so maybe getting knocked over and getting back up a few times throughout your career certainly helps you deal with those situations. Jockeys overcome many hardships, but few have been forced to cope with emotional extremes as publicly as Damien Oliver. How good was that, Damien? Oh, mate, it's just, it's insane, I can't believe it. Damien was a rising star when he won the 1995 Cup under Remus. I'd also like to uh, dedicate this win to my, um, my father who died when I was three years old in a race fall. I just wish he could have been here today to see this. I was only three years old when I lost my father so it's that little bit of gap you have in your life all the time and you know and him being a jockey as well you think um, you know how proud he would have been. We pray for all those who mourn for Jason. May they find comfort in Jason's example of courage the day after the 2002 Melbourne Cup, Damien attended the funeral of another family member, his 33-year-old brother, Jason. I just got a call from a friend saying that my brother had a serious accident and that um, you know, it didn't look too good and that I should get on a plane, so I was obviously really upset about. And the next few days, you know, he was on life support in the hospital and, and you know, that was um, you know, really difficult to deal with. And, and then, of course, we lost him after that. The racing fraternity is tonight mourning the death of jockey Jason Oliver, while his famous brother, champion jockey Damien, will ride in Tuesday's Melbourne Cup. Thought about it pretty closely with the family and, you know, you know what Jason would have probably wanted and, you know, if I could deal with the emotions and, and still be at my best and and do the horses justice that, uh, you know, that he'd, he'd probably want me to ride. And, you know, if I was sitting at home watching that Melbourne Cup on the couch that, you know, he would have been saying to me, you bloody idiot, what, bloody idiot, what are you doing? It didn't surprise me that Damien wanted to ride because he's a tough boy and uh, he's known tragedy before, obviously, with his father. I couldn't imagine doing it, you know, it's under those circumstances, but yeah, Ollie's he's just, he's made a different stuff, I guess. I would never have second guessed his capacity to deal with the personal side of it and the professional side of it. Um, no, I, I had absolutely no doubts once he got here and I could see that he was getting himself into that frame of mind that he would be able to do it. Damien Oliver won a Melbourne Cup for the Friedman family on Doremus in 1995. Today, as he did on Saturday, he walks the track. Tomorrow, he'll be in Perth, where his brother Jason will be buried. What an inspiration story it will be if Damien is successful here today. <laughs> 102,000 people were at Flemington that day and millions watched on television, as they always do. But this cup was different. No matter what people had chosen or drawn in the sweep, they cheered for just one horse, Media Puzzle. Or more specifically, for one jockey, Damien Oliver. I was in the race and I just remembered, you know, obviously looking over at him a few times before the race and, you know, obviously you're just thinking, well, you know, if I can't win it, geez, it'd be magic if, if Damien, you know, could win it. I knew if, if uh, my brother was riding with me that, you know, that, could only, that would only give me strength and help. Here comes Damien on Media Puzzle, Vinnie Rowan Media Puzzle, beekeeper to the outside, putting in a great run. Distinctly Secret is next, followed then by Pentaste. Media Puzzle, Media Puzzle. Damien takes him to the lead with 200 metres to go, and he's shot away. 
Just as I got close to the line, I really started to think about my brother. I was just overcome by emotion and um, probably at the time I didn't think how big a moment it was going to be but um, I just thought that um, you know the, the risk that I took probably riding um, you know it sort of come off and this, it was an amazing tribute to my brother and um, yeah I just felt really proud just felt proud that I'd won that race for him. 142 runnings of the Cup, has it been a better story? A more emotional one? When you talk about it, it's just, um, you, you can't help but become emotional. What did you say to Jason? <laughs> um, I just said, uh, I just, looked up to the sky and blew him a kiss and just said, my boy, or something we used to say to each other. Damien stands high on the irons, salutes the heavens. That's for Jason. It was very emotional, you know. I think all the jockeys pretty much got, you know, probably a little bit clogged up, you know, with emotion and that because obviously a lot of us are close to Damien and, and knew what he saw, what he'd gone through. Mate, Melbourne Cups don't mean a thing to me anymore. I'd give it back right now to have my brother back. You know, although I'd won the Melbourne Cup and, you know, it was a great moment, um, the fact that I'd lost my brother was s such a, a bigger, um, bigger, bigger deal to me. I just think it's one of the greatest moments in Australian sport in the last few years. Um, the amount of pressure he's been under, because I mean, I, I would have found that unimaginable um, the circumstances, but uh, he's a true champion and he's come through. I don't think there would have been a dry eye on Flemington, and there were, definitely wasn't in the jockey's room. It was just all about the boys being together for that special moment. I think we even closed the door, no one was allowed in, no press, no, no one. It was for about five or ten minutes after the race that. It was just an experience that he shared with all his colleagues and his friends. The result was just something that was so touching and, and so genuine that if Hollywood had scripted it, you would have said, oh, it's a bit rich. If you don't look over that race and not get caught up in the emotion and swept away in it all, you, you sim simply haven't got blood flowing through your veins. The raw emotion of that day lodged in Australia's collective mind. It was the most poignant of victories. Damien Oliver had ensured that Jason's memory would live in the hearts of everyone who witnessed an unforgettable Melbourne Cup. From where did you find the strength to do that, Damien? To win the Melbourne Cup? To do that on that day. From my brother. <laughs>